This world is a crazy place right now. Rain and the world killers are still out there. All I'm doing is waiting for their next strike. There is great power in being the calm at the center of the storm. A beacon to show the way. Supergloom is here to remind us about what's best in ourselves. That's what's most important. Supergirl. All new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on the CW. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be talking about Episode 12, we're going to be breaking down the trailer that you just watched for the episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So this trailer was a pretty average trailer, you know, there was some cool shots in it, we got the Super Valor shot at the end, we got Guardian returning, there was a few decent things, but... To be fair, there's not too much to look forward to in this episode from the synopsis and the overall plot of the episode, because really we've seen this quite a lot in this season. We saw it in episode 1, and we also saw it in episode 5, the damage episode, so we're going to be getting another Lena Luthor centric episode, and also about Morgan Edge, so they're going to be going at it as usual in this episode, so not too interesting on that front, but we're going to be breaking down the trailer. There is some interesting parts of the episode, like the rain stuff that's going to be going on with Alex. And then obviously Monel and Supergirl and Guardians returning, so that's awesome. But yes, yeah, so in the first shot we see James and he's rolling across the ground and he's dodging bullets. So someone's attacking most likely Lena at this point because we see later in the trailer that Lena's mouth is actually frothing up. So maybe she's been hit by a bullet or she's been poisoned or something like that and there is some sort of attack. But in the next shot we get to see Morgan Edge and he's being tossed out of the sky or he's being tossed out of a car. I'm not 100% on that. But moving on, so we get an awesome rain shot, one of the coolest shots of the trailer. So she's walking around and we see her with her heat vision ready to shoot out. And I'm unsure as to where she actually is. It seems like she's inside a building for sure, but we're not too sure. So maybe this is part of the episode where Samantha actually forgets what she's actually doing again. And that enhances the fact that she needs some help from Alex during this episode. Because that's what Rain's going to be doing in the episode. She's going to be trying to get help from Alex. So throughout the trailer we get a voice overlay from Kara and Jean. And this is sort of just your inspirational speech that is definitely heavily influenced by Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. They twist the words on that, but you can tell it's from that. But yeah, we get a few cool shots of that. And the next interesting shot, we see Supergirl. And behind in the distance, we see Morgan Edge. And it seems like he's been injured before. So this is happening somewhere nearer to the back half of the episode. And Supergirl's protecting him from whoever attacked him earlier is probably going to be trying to attack him again in that scene. But like I said earlier, a few different shots of Jean and Kara talking together. They're all from one big scene. And Lena's frothing up and something's happened to her. I'm most likely presuming she's been poisoned because I don't see any bullet holes anywhere. Normally from poison you do froth up. But the next shot is another awesome shot. Like I said, I'm just not that interested in the plot of this story. I feel like the shots in the trailer are actually really good and they're really intriguing. It's just from my point of view we've had this story quite a lot in this season already and I'm not particularly too keen on what they're doing with it right now considering I've seen it already and I'm not too hyped about it. I'm more hyped about the Rain stuff in this episode because I'm heavily invested with Rain's character and I'm sure all of you guys are considering she's been a massive part of the season and she's one of the best villains of DC TV of all time. I can happily say that by now that we've watched her in plenty of episodes. So in the final shot of the trailer we get the Super Valor scene I was talking about earlier and if you don't know what Super Valor is it's just my Twitter way of talking about Supergirl and Valor. We're still calling him Monel at the moment, but we're presuming that he's got a superhero name and we're presuming it's Valor because that's what he has in the comics most of the time, but sometimes he's just called Monel, so he might just go with his normal name. But again, I feel like giving him a superhero name on the TV show would be a great move to make. So they land together, and on the far right, we get to see Guardian, and Guardian suited up, and we're unsure as to whether Lena actually knows that Guardian is James, but I'm presuming she might find out in the episode. But this is the first time that Lena has actually seen Monel since the Daxamite Queen actually had them locked up together, going through that forced marriage thing. 
and so at this moment she's going to be really shocked seeing Monel for the first time and so she's going to have lots of questions and she's going to go straight to Kara after this considering she doesn't know Supergirl's Kara although she's literally the same person but she's going to go straight to Kara after this to say that Monel is back he's alive he's not in space anymore because Lena knows that they broke up and he's obviously in space he's far away and she doesn't obviously know about Legion and what's going on but Monel's turned into the fully fledged superhero he was supposed to be so I'm very excited to see this team up considering in the past episodes with Monel returning we haven't really got a full on team up we got that little team up in the Legion of Superheroes episode where Kara actually comes out of the coma and she fights and we just get one scene of them together so I'm excited for this so there is a lot to promise in the episode and don't get me wrong I'm always hyped for a Supergirl episode my hype levels aren't as high as the previous episodes that have gone on it's just because like I said I've emphasized this a lot I feel like we've seen this story quite a lot and hopefully they do a twist on it from what we've seen already and that will be good so I'm looking forward to this episode but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later Shut free.